Hi guys, I'm Seema and today we'll study about ages, a very interesting and scoring topic in quant section. I'll be making many more useful videos on topics related to quant reasoning and English for phase 1 of RBI and SEBI. If you like my video then do subscribe to our channel and for regular updates hit the bell icon. Moving forward to the questions. Question 1. In the year 1980, the age in years of a person was 1 89th of his year of birth. What was the age of the person in 2012? Let the year of birth be 89x. Now, to understand the question better, I'll give you an example. Suppose I was born in 1995 and in 2005, my age would be 5 years. If I am to write an equation, I can write it as 1995 plus 5, which is my age, is 2000. So now, we are going to do the same for the question given. The birth year, we have assumed, is 89x and in the question it is given that the age of the person it is 1 by 89th time of the year of his birth so year of birth is 89x and by 89 is going to be 9080 we have just put the values in the equation this now here we have 89x plus 89x by 89 is 1980 we get x plus 89x is 1980 and on solving further we get the value of x which is 22 and as per the question the year of birth would be 89x which is 89 into 22 which comes out to be 1958 1958 is the year of birth and as per the question the age of the person in 2012 would be 54 years this question can be easily solved once we get the value of x the only tricky part was this, getting the equation, which I hope you have understood by the simple example. Question 2. The average age of a group of men is 20 years. If two men aged 22 years and 28 years are added to the group, average age of group increases by a prime number. Find the number of men in group. Now let us assume initially the number of men is m. Some of their ages would be 20m as the average is given in the question which is 20 some of their ages would be 20m. Some of their ages when two more men are added to the group, some of the ages of m plus 2 members would be 20m plus 22 and 28, which are the ages of two new members included in the group, which comes out to be 20m plus 50. So now, as per the question, this is the sum of ages after the addition of new members and the average increases by a prime number so 20 plus p let us assume p is a prime number multiplied by m plus 2 which is the number of members in the group on further solving the equation we get 10 is equals to p multiplied by m plus 2 this 10 is equals to p multiplied by m plus 2 is a very important equation that we'll be needing to solve the question as it is given p multiplied by m plus 2 is equals to 10 then p and m plus 2 the both must be the factors of 10 and as p is a prime number it can only be 2 or 5 so as to be a factor of 10 now we'll put the now we will put both the values and check for the answer if p is equals to 2 then we get that m is equals to 3 and if p is equals to 5 then m comes out to be 0 which is impossible because the number of members cannot be 0 in the group p is equals to 2 and m is equals to 3 we get that the number of members initially in the group was 3 and now after two members have been added the number of members is 5 in the group so the answer is d question 3 the ratio of ages of a man and his wife is 4 is to 3. After 4 years, this ratio will be 9 is to 7. If at the time of marriage the ratio was 5 is to 3, then how many years ago were they married? Suppose their present ages are 4x and 3x respectively. After 4 years, their ratio would be 4x plus 4, 3x plus 4 because we are talking about what happens after 4 years. So we are adding 4 to both the sides. Their ratio would be 9 is to 7. This is our equation 1 and on solving equation 1 we get that x is equals to 8 and putting the value of x here the age of the man and wife comes out to be 32 years and 24 years respectively. And now as per the question their ratio at the time of their marriage was 5 is to 3. 
So let us suppose they married Z years ago. So 32 minus Z on 24 minus Z be equal to 5 is to 3, which gives us Z is equals to 12 years. In such questions, when the questions ask about what happens in future, in future we add the years like we have added it here and for the past like it was asking at the time of marriage then how many years ago were they married then we have to subtract the years to get the answer which is 12 years in this case Aisha's father was 38 years of age when she was born while her mother was 36 years old when her brother was 4 years Question 4. Aisha's father was 38 years of age when she was born while her mother was 36 years old when her brother, 4 years younger to her, was born. What is the difference between the ages of her parents? In such questions, writing down the given information systematically would not only help you understand the question better but also to solve it in lesser time. So here, age of father, age of mother, birth of Aisha, birth of brother. So, at the time when Aisha was born, her father was 38 years old. And at the time her brother was born, her mother was 36 years old. And as per the question, her brother is 4 years younger to her. So, at the time of Aisha's birth, her mother would be 32 years old. And similarly here, at the time of birth of her brother, her father would be plus 4, should be 42 years. Now, we can easily see the difference. In both the cases which remain same is 6 years. These questions are really very easy to solve and take lesser time in comparison to other questions. Question 5. 6 years ago, the mother's age was 18 years more than the son's age then. If the sum of their present age is 30 years, what was the age of mother 6 years back? Let the present age of mother be M and son be S. Now as per the question, 6 years ago, the age of mother was 18 years more than that of the son. This is the equation 1. So hence we get m is equals to s plus 18. This is equation 1. And presently the sum of their ages is 30. So on solving equation 1 and 2 we get s is 6 years which is age of son is 6 years and the age of mother would be 24 years. These are the present ages of both of them. And now the question asks about what was the mother's age 6 years ago. So 6 years ago it was 18 years. So C is the answer. And in such questions where both the present and the age 6 years ago is given in the options, do mark the options carefully so as not to do the mistakes. And this question can be solved verbally as well. And just by seeing this information, the sum of their present ages is 30 years, you can eliminate these two options A and B. As the mother's age cannot be 36 years or 32 years because it is greater than even the sum of their combined two ages. And now for the rest of two options, you can put the values and check. And while doing such questions, read the question carefully about what age it is asking. Whether it is asking about the present age or the age six years ago. Hope you found this video beneficial for your preparation. And if you have any queries regarding any question, do let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.